Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanik, and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. It's Wednesday, the 4th of March, 2009. Here are today's top stories. Yesterday, President Obama confirmed his intent to nominate Julius Janachowski as chairman of the FCC. Janachowski, who has served as tech policy advisor to the president and was a former Harvard Law School classmate of Obama's, was tagged for this position several weeks ago. However, his appointment must still be approved by Congress. ABC officially canceled the drama series Life on Mars and will allow it to gracefully conclude with a definite ending to the storyline. Production will continue through this month and the finale will likely be scheduled for early April. NBC's Late Night with Jimmy Fallon is off to a stellar start as the show debuted Monday night precisely at 12.37 a.m. with a 2.38 in metered market households, the highest rated Monday for NBC with metered markets in more than three years. Travel Channel will air a new 60-minute docu-reality show this Thursday as the pilot episode of Throwdown Fishing debuts at 11 p.m. Now shot in HD, the program takes viewers to Bimini, Bahamas to witness host Captain Matty Tambor and his crew battle in a fishing contest for bragging rights that reels in dolphin, kingfish, giant grouper, and snapper to the daunting bull shark. Wow. And VH1 does a little wooing with its new matchmaker series, Tough Love, opening on March 15th at 10 p.m. During eight one-hour episodes, Stephen Ward will instruct eight luckless women on how to break their bad dating habits. NBC Universal Domestic Television Distribution will sell national advertising on behalf of several syndicated programs from Litton Entertainment for the 2009-2010 television season. The shows include weekly series The Brian McKnight Show, court series Street Court, off-net repeats of Storm Stories, as well as Jack Hanna's Animal Adventures and Animal Exploration with Jared Miller. Following a four-day impasse between Comedy Central and the executive producers of the Sarah Silverman program over a budget cut dispute, the live-action series will be back for a third season. Comedy Central ordered ten episodes, and the series will now be co-financed with Sister Cable Network logo. The Sarah Silverman program will debut season number three during first quarter 2010. And over at the Food Network, they've started production this week on a new daytime series, Sandra's Money-Saving Meals, hosted by, you guessed it, Sandra Lee. The series, debuting on May 10th at 12 noon, will focus on everyday recipes that fit in Lee's triple A factor, that's cooking philosophy by being accessible, aspirational, and affordable. And last up today, as a franchise, High School Musical has become a cultural phenomenon, and the fourth movie installment, High School Musical 4, will return to television, premiering on Disney Channel in 2010. Featuring an all-new cast of characters involved in a crosstown school battle between the East High Wildcats and the West High Knights, production on the Disney Channel original movie begins later this year. Well, that's it. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves, more on ratings, loads of new classified ads, a few other stories that didn't make it into this podcast, and of course, tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. This is a Synopsis Media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled Synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahanik. I'm going to have a good day, even if I make it myself. I'm going to have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too.